back to the video i hope you guys are doing extremely well so friends in this video i will discuss 20 most important and most frequently asked mcqs of unit number two which is cpu scheduling so i hope you guys have watched the videos of uh, unit number one in which i have discussed 20 most important mcqs of unit number one which is introduction to operating system and process management if you guys have not watched that videos please then please refer to the description box where you will find the link of the same okay so without wasting any time let's proceed with the first question so the first question is which of the following is an input output scheduling algorithm that allocates a fixed amount of time with to each input output request regardless of its size okay the option is first come first serve shortest job first round robbing or elevator algorithm so the correct option of this question is option number three which is round robbing okay so the next question is round robbing scheduling is most suitable for what which operating system for which operating system round robbing scheduling is most suitable option is batch operating system hard real-time operating system soft real-time operating system or time sharing operating system so the correct option of this question is option number four time sharing operating system okay third number question is the number of process that processes that are completed by a system per unit time is called what option number a process output option number two turnaround time option number three throughput and option number four is response time so the correct option of this question is option number three which is throughput okay uh, question number four is the problem of indefinite blockage of low priority jobs in general priority scheduling algorithm can be solved using what option number one dirty bit option number two compaction option number three is edging, and last option is swapping so the again the correct option of this question is option number three which is asing okay asing is the correct option for this question so fifth number question is which module gives control of the cpu to the process selected by the short term scheduler option is dispatcher interrupt scheduler or none of the mentioned so the correct option is option number a which is dispatcher okay so guys if you are enjoy watching the video please do not forget to like the video and also do not forget to subscribe the channel so if you guys subscribe the channel now then it's really motivates me to make such a videos okay so please do not forget to subscribe go and subscribe then come to the six number question okay okay anyway let's proceed with the six number question six number question is in priority scheduling algorithm cpu is uh, cpu is allocated to the process with the highest priority or cpu is allocated to the process with the lowest priority option number c is equal priority process cannot be scheduled and option number d is none of the mentioned so the correct option of this question is option number a which is cpu is allocated to the process with highest priority okay seventh number question process are classified into different groups in shortest job scheduling algorithm option number b round robbing scheduling algorithm option number c priority scheduling algorithm or multi-level queue scheduling algorithm so this is a very simple question if you know the answer please do not forget to comment below and if you not then i am going to show you the answer the correct option is option number d multi-level queue scheduling algorithm okay eight number question which one of the following cannot be scheduled by the kernel option number a kernel level thread option number b user level thread option number c process option number d none of them answer correct option is option number b user level thread okay next question is a process is selected from the dash queue by the which scheduler to be executed option blocked short term wait long term ready short term or ready long term so this is also a very simple question correct option is option number c a process is selected from the ready queue by the short term scheduler to be executed okay so now the 10th number question what is dispatch latency so it's a very important question okay do not skip all this 
In fact, all these questions are very important. You should not skip any one of the question. Okay. So the option is the speed of dispatching a process from running to the ready state. Option number B, the time of dispatching a process from running to ready state and keeping the CPU idle. Option number C, the time to stop one process and start running another another one. Okay. Option number D is none of the mentioned. So the correct option of this question is option number C, which is the time to stop one process and start running another process is called dispatch latency. Question number 11. What is turn around time? Option number A, the total waiting time for a process to finish execution. Option number B, the total time spent in the ready queue. Option C is the total time is spent in a queue running queue and option number D is the total time from the completion till the submission of a process. So the correct option is option number D which is the total time from the completion till the submission of the process is the correct option. So the next question is what is response time? Option is the total time taken from the submission time till the completion time. Option number B the total time taken from the submission time till the first response is produced and option number c is the total time taken from the submission till the response time is output and option number d is none so the correct option is option number b the total time taken from the submission time till the first response is produced okay this is also a very important question 13th number question with round robin scheduling algorithm in a time shared system what option number a using very large time slice convert it into first come first serve scheduling algorithm option number b using very small time slice convert it into first come first serve scheduling algorithm using extremely small time slice increase performance and last option is using very small time slice convert it into a shortage of first algorithm so it's a common waste problem and correct option of this question is option number a using very large time slice convert it into first come first sub scheduling algorithm okay so the next question is what is fifo algorithm this is also a very important question option number a first executes the job that that came in last in the queue and option number b first execute the job that came in first in the queue and option number c first executes the job that needs minimal process option number d first execute the job that has minimum process needs so the correct option of this question is option number b which is first executes the job that came in first in the queue okay 15th number question which of the following algorithm tends to minimize the process flow time option is first come first serve shortest job first earliest deadline first and longest job first the correct option is option number b shortest job first okay 16 number question the first come first serve algorithm is particularly troublesome for what time sharing system multi-programming system multiprocessor system or operating system correct option is option number a time sharing system okay next question is the real the real difficulty with shortage of first in short term scheduling is what it is too good an algorithm next option knowing the length of the next cpu request it is too complex to understand or none of the answer so the correct option of this question is option number B, which is knowing the length of the next CPU request is the real difficulty with the shortage of first algorithm. Okay. Next question. Preemptive shortage of first scheduling is sometimes called. Again, it's a very important question. Option is fast shortage of first schedule, scheduling. Option number B, earliest deadline first. Option number C, highest response ratio next. And last option is shortest remaining time next. And the correct option is also last option, which is shortest remaining time next. Okay. And the second last question of this entire session is which of the following statement are true? 
and the statement given see first statement is shortest remaining time for scheduling may cause starvation next option preemptive scheduling may cause starvation and last statement is round robin is better than first come first serve in terms of response time so the correct option is option number d one two three all the three statements are true okay so this is again a very important question and it has also been asked in get 2010 okay so do not skip this question and the last question is which of the following scheduling algorithm give minimum average waiting time very simple question please comment the answer option is first come first serve b shortest job first option number c round robin and last option is party so the correct option of this question is shortest job first okay so all these questions are very important please and also please do not forget to share this video in your class group and also like the video if you guys have enjoyed watching the videos and do not forget to subscribe the questions because i will bring on uh, again the next video for unit number three where we will discuss 20 most important questions of unit number three which is processing synchronization okay thank you so much guys thank